Alright, number four. Exotic pet you want so bad, but should never own. So, uh, for myself, an exotic animal that you should never own, um, primarily because, frankly, actual ownership of them is incredibly cruel, and you should, they, sh they should not be domesticated. But it looks so freaking cute. A slow Loris. Hello everyone, my name is Josh, aka the Biscuit Eater, and I want to welcome you all to another episode of my long-form Let's Play of Stardew Valley, modded with friends. You know the deal. Now, if this is your first time on the stream, do know you can <laughs> you can find a link to the playlist in the description down below. Of course, if you're watching on stream live, appreciate having you here. Uh, of course, as always, uh, that makes it a lot more fun. We can interact, we can have fun, we can talk, whatever you want to do. Uh, there's, of course, you got we've got blurb for interaction. You've got the chat to talk with me, or if you just want to sit back and listen to us chit chat, that's perfectly fine too. We appreciate having you here, regardless of what brought you. Now, if you'd like to have a chance to join us, of course, you can do so every Monday and Wednesday from 7:30 p.m. until 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time over at Twitch.tv forward slash The Biscuit Eater. With that all said, I think it's time that we got started, don't you, Mister? Need to go pick our truffles. I, I, I. I Okay, yeah, before I check my mail, you guys need to see- Oh, you got- Yeah, you got it? Okay. Yeah, um, oh. Yeah, uh, while we were sitting here, uh, I, I think the pause menu is a little bit of a, of a, uh, the, the pause method is a little bit of a cheat. Um, oh, I thought you were getting the phone. Okay, I guess I have to. Okay, well, it- It just- it, it, it kept ringing, but when I went to it, it gave me the, uh, the who you get a call thing. So, okay. So, I, I had to pick up a couple truffles to get down there to show people just how many truffles. But, yeah, this is a little bit of an exploit. Um, so, if you wonder why we have so many truffles we get so much truffle oil, this is why. It wasn't intentional. We did not realize it was going to be that much of a uh, 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 of a, an exploit, but we only did this at the very beginning of our stream, so... There's that. Okay, let's go ahead and read some letters, shall we? Biscuit Eater, it seems like you're starting to get close with some of the townspeople. If you want to show someone that you're romantically interested, you gotta give them one of the my beautiful flower bouquets. I'm selling them now for a very fair price. If you want, want to start a family someday, this is the first step. We already did that. You're behind the... We are one step ahead of you, dude. Yeah, already got that taken care of. Mars mine, darn it! <laughs> oh, we, so let's go ahead and... All right, so we were gonna do. Did you make the oil machine or oil makers yet? Or did you need me to? Oh, wait a minute. No, we don't want to do oil. We don't want to do oil makers just yet because uh, that's twenty hardwood each, and we need to focus on. Yeah, then we're just gonna have to like spam the one oil sheet we have. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. I. Okay, I have, uh, Cap, could you go ahead and gra gra grab these people real quick? Thank you, buddy. Sorry, I got a couple spammers. And they're really bad, too, because you, you, you one right after the other. <laughs> okay, so we're going to throw these truffles in here. Thank you, Captain. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I, it's a downside. Because of my size, I don't limit the uh, how, or, how, how, uh, how long they've been a, uh, a viewer. So, sadly, that does mean bots can just come in and spam us, thankfully. We got Cap on the case. So, at least on the live side, it's there. Just ignore that, folks, yeah, uh, on the uh, on the vid. Sorry about the spam that you're seeing. Just never follow those links. They're always... Oh, they're just... They're stealing you. They're stealing your stuff. Okay, so... Where was I? Oh, that's right. We were. Wa I was going to water. Oh, looks like you already got the watering taken care of, for the most part. Because you're on the case. How many, how many um, truffles did you end up picking up? Three, and I put up, I put all of them in the in the uh, in, uh, in the automated. I have forty. <laughs> if, I'm math, if I am mathing correctly, which I might not be. No, I'm not mathing correctly. I'm way off. Hold up. Okay, we need. 
Okay, uh, whoever bought, did you put stuff in C? Uh, uh, okay, we got six days. How many? We got ten days left. I'm gonna put uh, kale down. We got eighteen kale seeds. So I'm gonna put kale kale down, and all the rest of these take way too long. I'm sorry. We have thirty-three. Thirty-three. Yeah, yeah. I could not mental math. Hey, that's okay. So that's. Oh god, this this. Is that okay? Okay, no, you're you're planning things. I'm like, oh my god, are they digging more truffles? No, I'm actually. They did. They did? <laughs> There's one. <laughs> well, at least it'll be a, a, a regular, a, a appropriate in, in, intervals now. Okay, so yeah. let's actually, I want to check the, let's go to farm. Let's check the shipping bin. Okay, nothing in the shipping bin. Okay, uh, for whomever uh, did the harvesting, do we have anything that we could, uh, like parsnips or anything that we can throw in the last couple Growable areas. We got we got room for about eight more growables in the main. Okay. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna go start our shed building. Woohoo! Woo or ew 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 ew. I thought we know that a noise cap. Indeed. Oh, another leak! Yay! Yeah. Leaks. <laughs> Cap goes, how dare you? Take all the leaks. Okay, don't forget we have the uh, hardwood uh, stump over on the west side. Or in, in the upper quadrant on the west side. Tadas! Your stump. Yay, mixed seeds. Why do I never get good um, results from fr from the tre uh, treasure locations? It's always garbage. Thank you. Hey, Robin. Hi, Robin. I can talk. Um, see here, crafting. We need. 300. Farm building. Shed. Got shed building now. Oh, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's, it's not... The footprint's not huge. Yeah, for some reason I thought it would have a massive footprint. Okay, so I'm putting it in... Uh, okay, you'll see where it goes. This is a perfect corner, I think, for it. Boom! That's for... How much of this stuff am I shipping? Oh, I, I did all the harvesting. What's that? What? How much of this stuff am I shipping? Got a bunch of beet, a bunch of garlic, and some rhubarb. Uh, beet. If you can actually put beets in the seed maker, we still we still need to plant more beets. Or not beets. Oh, yeah, uh, like... Parsnips, I think it was, or what, radishes, yeah. or whatever the hell they are. Oh yeah, no, I I got the beets thing. Did I do the beets thing? Where am I out of my key quest? I got the beat. Okay, and where are the. Wh beat. Okay, why aren't leaks in the uh, quests? Oh, I still need beats. Like, if there are beats in there, I still need to put beats in the fridge. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Um. Okay, where did all the leaks go? Because didn't we have, like, we had, like, eight of them, or seven of them. Yeah. But I'm not seeing them anywhere. Uh, there's a couple in quests, but... Yeah, I just put those two in there. Oh, are they... They're gold crops. I think they're in gold crops. Oh, okay. Woo! Yes, they are. Okay. Yeah, yeah they that's are. Just... I'm, I'm grabbing them putting them in quest now, because that's why we made that. So that's 10, 11, 12, and we need a total of... We need, we need to gather two more. Okay, I'm going the long way, a long way around to see if I can find any more. I got the other hardwood today. <laughs> okay, That's and right. and uh, <laughs> um, do we need salmon berries for anything? Or are we just or are we just selling them directly? We can sell them. Okay, I don't because I don't. I figure they probably don't make for great wine for the uh, amount 
of time it takes. No, I mean we have we have better items we can use to align. Okay, so going the long way around, then I will double check the forest to see if I can find any in there. We should also see some spring onions in the forest, but if we want to eat all of the uh, radishes or just certain ones. Oh, uh, let's do all of them so we can just have a good backlog. They don't sell for very much, but it gives us a good backlog. Okay, so no leaks in the surrounding area. Okay. They're burying everywhere. And then for the rhubarb and the garage, you just sell it? Yep. Tip it. All right. Did did we uh, did we pet all the animals? Yes. And did we harvest from animals? Yes. Excellent. I I, an I animal today. You animal today. Sweet. You animal. So animal. Animal. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Maybe that's that, that's an unofficial question. What's your favorite Muppet thing? Uh, depends. If we're talking, uh, if we're, if we're talking actual, uh, the the uh, the actual Muppets, the Muppet Show, Animal. If we're talking Sesame Street, Super Grover. I think more like um, like movie or show, but also I guess favorite Muppet does work. Yeah. Uh, favorite show. Mm, that's a toughie. Um, I'd have to say, actually, I don't, that, that's a hard, an, that's a hard one to answer. Um, I, I'd say probably either, Mupp I just, I'd say probably, uh, Muppet Steak Manhattan. Peoples is peoples. I'm not finding any more leaks, unfortunately. Very topical reference, Josh. Formed between Muppet Christmas Carol and Muppet Treasure Island. I, I like in my youth we had taped um, like the Muppet Family Christmas off of television. Like there were still commercials and everything. <laughs> and like that is like oh, like my favorite yeah. Christmas thing. <laughs> yes, thank you, somebody. What's that? Watch out for the icy patch. Yeah. <laughs> what the? Oh, did I? What happened? What did you do? I don't know. What did you do? I, what, what are you uh, owing? I, I I went to go raid some trash and the, the lid popped off. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Never mind. Never mind. I know what's up. What's up? I know what's up. What's up? What'd you do? I found the, I found the, I found the garbage hat. Oh, nice. Oh. We missed the we missed the down uh, the the lower portion of uh, hardwood here. Oh, well, it was I didn't I, look because it looked empty, so I just kept walking away. I got it. Oh, it's a beach foraging. Yeah, I am not finding any leaks, unfortunately. Yeah, no M Muppets take Manhattan, but then again, that's because that was you know that was the Muppets in my youth, so. Yeah, yeah, like. But for my Muppets in my youth were Muppet Babies, but like I, we still also watch like, like the original Muppet Show and all that. Cap says Plumber did a good job. I don't, I don't get if it. If you can't find any leaks, he, he's, he's oh. dad joking. Oh, you know? ow, oh, he's he's deep deep cut, dad joking. Dang. Yeah, I am offended. I agree, Oz. The, the the Muppet Show was a, was a great variety show, and honestly, I kind of wish it, it, it. I wish it could return, but I just don't think that we could do it. I mean, if the adulting of the Muppet Show that they try to do is any indicator, I don't think we could do it justice nowadays. Okay, it's 11.50. It's about time to head back. I didn't realize, it reali I didn't realize what time it was. Yep, I'm heading back. I mean, these days, you know, um, you know, no one remembers Vaudeville, so a lot of the uh, 
the in jokes just go way over everybody's head. Well, and the methodologies of vaudeville too. It it, it, it is uh, it is a form of comedy that is slowly dying. And it's okay. Yeah. Some things with mod, with mod with or with vaudeville aren't okay. So, all right. So let's see here. Okay, so we did do the. Okay, we we got the new sprinklers. We'll do the. Uh... One o'clock. Yep, on my way. On my way. I don't have any speed hacks on, so I'm running. 10. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the, the iridium sprinklers in the greenhouse are all in place. Nice. Okay, and I'm going to bed now. Yes, Oz, we are using the better greenhouse mod. Um, for those who are uh, watch, just, just tuning in or if you haven't caught earlier versions of the stream, we are using a number of mods uh, just to Im improve the experience. Uh, pr most of them are cosmetic based, although there are some some cheatsy doodle uh, mods that we're using. Um, better greenhouse to give us a little more space uh, is there. Uh, the uh, we're, we're using uh, CJB cheats to have access to the easier fishing because the fishing mini game sucks. Uh, that sort of thing. And we also have Automate installed. Okay, nothing on TV. Hey, I'm trash. Such trash. <laughs> you are trash. I found this in a... Hey, I found this in a drawer somewhere. I thought you could use it. Pam, it's a beer. You, you, you sent me a beer you found in... A drawer. That's a perfectly normal thing to do. Um, uh, yeah, sure, well, but... Off to the crouch is watering our crops. Yeah. Oh my god, I am off to the crouch. <laughs> yes! Oh, we didn't... Okay, right. so we, did, we didn't uh, plant anything else. That's okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, you know... It is a skill set, and it's one that I admire. It's also one that I do not have. He was like a natural at it. Like he, he, like, we, he and I played together, and he's just, it's like spring one, like spring fish, and he's max fished out. Like no cheats. Okay, but so. That's like, that's like his thing though. He's a, he really likes fishing in video games. He just doesn't, he doesn't know why. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's a reasonable thing to enjoy. Okay, so some far. Okay, so we need eight days, so we don't quite have enough time. Uh, it's also Friday, so don't forget Mysterious Vendor. But what can we throw? Okay, we got parsnip seeds. There we go. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Okay, parsnip seeds are mostly down. Need to get, water these ones, though. Okay, so something else is... Okay, yeah, that's right. I, that's, that's right. Sure. Yeah, I just... Yeah, I, I, I appreciate anyone who can actually do Stardew, Stardew Valley uh, fishing well. I just recognize that I am not one of them, and I have no interest in trying to better myself. <laughs> okay, so to get started in here, let's get these code. I got ho. Ah, no, I want to go here. Okay, so now I need to go into seeds. 
So, okay, jumping back a bit, I think they just came out with a new Muppet movie on, D on Disney+. Plus. Pretty sure they're year two. Okay, so... The Muppet show that they have on Disney+, Plus is kind of a, a modern adaptation, because basically they make them uh, YouTubers. We're kind of doing that, like... I don't know if it was before Disney, but there was like a hot minute there where they had like a lot of like... They, they did like the Muppets did Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, they also did like uh, parts of Carbon. Um, which was just hilarious because my cat was thought it was the most annoying noise ever, so of course I did it endlessly. Okay. Oh yeah, Muppets uh, Haunted Mansion. Which is the Disney Haunts, Haunted Mansion with Muppets. Well, un until the Muppets have a have a Marvel Cinematic Universe crossover, I'm not going to consider them official Disney yet. Yeah. Also, I have a, I have a funny beer story. Okay. It's just funny because one I I one I hate beer. Right. And yeah, it is just like not a flavor that my tongue enjoys. Um. And friends will like be like, "Oh, try this beer just to see me make the face." Um, so Louis had brought home like, "Oh, it's it's a pumpkin cider. You'll like it." I'm like, "Cool, I'll try it." And yesterday, I'm like, "Eh, why not? Oh, it's no. a Sunday. I'm not doing anything. I'm not going anywhere." And you know, I'm just like, "All right, I pour it into a glass because I'm fancy that way." And I'm like, "Wow, there's a lot of foam on top of this." I'm like, "Oh well, I'm sure that's." Fine. And I'm like, I'm waiting for the foam to go down, so I drink out of the, the bottle, I'm like, okay, sometimes ciders can be hoppy, that's not hoppy, this is beer! Uh. <laughs> and I'm just like making, oh, I'm like, ah! <laughs> he's like, is it that bad? I'm like, it's beer! He's like, what? And I'm like, it's beer! So it's, you know, it's a pumpkin beer, which, I'm, well, I'm not a beer person, so I don't know what, like, it's... I just go back to the Dennis Leary joke of beer flavored beer. Um and uh it was it was terrible. Um especially, my taste buds died. I died a little on the inside. Especially when you're expecting when you're expecting cider. Cider is not beer. Decidedly not beer. No. That's mean. No. That's cruel. That's un that, 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 I think that's tantamount to abuse. It is. <laughs> But like he 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 got a bottle of the actual cider today, and they are like very similar. It's just like you'd have to like stop and read it, and be like, oh no, I got that, you know. So it wasn't intentional, but it was definitely like evil, like the fruits like, of the was, devil. Like the fruits. Fruits said the devil. Yeah, I wife picked up some uh, pumpkin ale, and it was it's okay, but it's like. It's a higher alcohol volume, which for beer means it's going to be really sweet, and it just was not... Tasty. I, I prefer more, more, uh, uh, darker, um, bitter is really the wrong word, it's technically bitter, but, uh, yeah, yeah. like, um, like a stout, I'll take a good stout. Yeah, see, I, I like a nice bitter cider when I'm able to drink. I, I've been a teetotaler for about four years now, but uh, when I was able to get away with drinking, uh, I would I would totally take a bitter cider any day. Like, I had it. Uh, there was this uh, McMinimans had this uh, wonderful uh, Marionberry cider that just. What was that noise again? <laughs> Is that appropriate for your stream? I think so. Okay, cool. Just asking. Meat has been my jam lately, though. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Uh, there is a buddy of mine who I used to work with who made an a, a apple pie meat that was so good. It would sneak up on you like nothing doing. Uh, it, it would sneak up on you worse than, than uh, tequila. It was just so good. Startup Saloon Special Orders. Okay. Do we want to do anything with these uh, quality spray quarters? Um, I don't know. Uh, we could probably make them uh, use them for small little uh, flower plots if we wanted to. I, it, I think they could be used for them later. 
Like I could stick them in the middle of the outdoor ones and we could have at least the inner circle of the of those plots watered and then we can replace them with the radium down the road. I have a, 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 a scene. Oh, hello there, buddy. Saloon. I mean, I went to the saloon to see if I could buy some more uh, recipes. Sorry, I'm just looking over last month's earnings, and it's not looking very good, Biscuit Eater. The worst thing, and I hate to say this because she is my friend, is Pam. She hasn't paid off her tab in weeks. But I can't ask her to do it. I know she'll get defensive, and I don't want to hurt her feelings. Well, hi, buddy. Yeah, uh, no, I, 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 I have a personal Instagram. I do not have an account Instagram. Uh, mostly because I don't, I have a hard time getting the time to make shorts. I would, I, I, I would, because I would cross post, like, if people clip stuff, I, and, by the way, clip stuff. If you guys want to clip stuff while I'm, while I'm live, that you think is interesting, I will turn those into shorts that I can put on, say, YouTube and on, uh, Instagram and such. But without it, I just haven't had the content or the time, really, to do so. But that's something to consider. Uh, if people find something interesting, clip that. Help me out. Hiya. Gus, I'm awful thirsty if you catch my drift. Er, well, okay, fam. Speak of the devil who doesn't pay her tab. <laughs> Biscuit Eater, what's going on here? Um, uh, do I just narc that a student isn't doing well financially, or you need to pay your tab right now? I'm not going to be rude. It isn't? That's terrible. Oh. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Angry. Sigh. Well, I guess I'd better pay off that tab then. One of them is not going to be happy with me, I'm sure. Thanks, Pam. And thank you, Biscuit Eater. Okay, well, he's not happy, angry with me, but she is, I think. Now, let's get you to that drink, Pam. Oh, I guess I have bought all the, uh, recipes already. Josh uses gu guilt trip. It's highly effective. Okay, for those who notice that the, the sprites look a little bit different, I have uh, enabled uh, custom sprites uh, or seasonal sprites. Uh, Marnie and, the, and Lewis are talking. Marnie doesn't even notice you're there. So this would be the perfect time to show those shorts if you want if you end to really make him mad. If you still got it. Um, so a uh, vendor down here has has a rare seed. I was able to get one. Yay! Ah, yeah, that you, you're probably right there, Cap. If I had actually gone aggressive, they probably both would get kicked off at me. Okay, so let's see if we can find any more leaks. We just needed two more. Oh, did you guys get heartwood for the day? Sorry, was that a yes or a no? Because I you got cut off. Uh, yeah, I got cut off by a yawn. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> um, yes, we have hardwood. Because we're, I think we got two more days, three more days. Yeah, we got three more days, and we're at fifty-one. Do do. Hi. Bye. Oh, we have, like, so we get two more days, that's 24. That might be enough. It's at least 24. Unless someone gets like multiple things per chopping. The only way I was able to get beat it was planting my own trees. We thought we had planted our own trees, but I'm not seeing them anywhere, so. Uh, I don't wonder if they're in the quarry. Oh, yeah. You want to check? check? Yeah, I'm. I'm halfway there. Whoa. Oh, and did uh, we? Did you pause time. Oh. Because it's been stuck at 6 p.m. for a while. I did not, but. Uh... Uh, yeah, it says it says you did. <laughs> oh. It was not on purpose. Um. Oh, yeah. No, I thought I did, but this. These are not hardware trees. Okay, so we may not be able to do... What happens if we fail? 
nothing. Like the the it, it'll pop up again. Okay. You have no idea how hard I have to rein in my dirty jokes when y'all start talking about looking for hardwood. Well, especially when we start talking about uh, catching chub on the same day that we're talking about hardwood. Yep. And Willie's back door. Oh! Shoot! Right, we keep forgetting. Like, I keep like, oh, it's like 5 o'clock. I should go to Willie's back door. But, well, no. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to do that tomorrow. I need to do the uh, the little side quest by Krobus's, uh You can do that now. That's yeah, I'm, not time. I'm walking. I'm running there now. So. Did I? Oh, there are spring onions. I will grab the spring onions. I did not find any leaks, though. Did I do that thing? Someone burns down your barn if you fail. Uh oh. What he burns down your barn? How oh, rude. Okay, I see it. Oh, hi there, bugs. Die, bugs. Die, die, die. Oh. A lot of. Okay, a lot of rocks that I can't mine. That's not useful. Alright, what is in this? Area? Oh, got another secret note. Great. Okay. Okay, so I can't mine any of these rocks. That's annoying. Yeah, they're just decorative. Ah! There's a chest. Dark Pendant. Okay. Or Dark Talisman. I give that back to the, uh, or I give that to the wizard. Yeah, there's a teleport in the back there that you can use to go straight there. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Apparently, I'm thinking of... Yeah, no, I think, I think you're thinking of the other spot. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not seeing any. I was thinking about teleport. the witch's hut where you can teleport to the wizard's tower. Okay, heading back. Okay. Just a reminder, I am currently. Oh, that's just me. <laughs> okay, but all sounds like kids when they play Minecraft. Die, die, die! Indeed. Yeah, um, you have to do the uh, quotation mark to get that. Or not quotation mark, the exclamation point. You got it. It's 11 o'clock, so I'm heading back to the farm. And if you do exclamation point EL perks, uh, it talks about some of the perks of what I am offering for donations. Because there are some tiered incentives that are offered as well. Also, is it about time for somebody to uh, hit the button for the question? Uh, possibly. Yeah, um, actually, yeah, we, uh, we're already at 33 minutes. Shoot. Yeah, so, um, oh, you know, it's probably the the, uh, the period at the end. If you if you, if you you take the period off, off the end there, I'll have to fix that in post. Um, but uh, it, let's, let's go ahead and if someone can do a quick... Uh, die roll. Uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and just do that real quick. Or the dice roll. I can never remember my own commands. Alright, number four. Exotic pet you want so bad, but should never own. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, okay. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and sleep, and then we'll pause time. We'll just finish out this particular 
uh, episode with our conversation and then uh, go on break here. So, uh, for myself, an exotic animal that you should never own, um, primarily because, frankly, actual ownership of them is incredibly cruel and you should, they, sh they should not be domesticated. But it looks so freaking cute. A slow loris. Um, if it weren't for the fact that everything that we think is cute about them is completely torture to them, and the, the, I mean, they, they have to be de venom sacked, and their response to tickling is that it's torturous. So, oh my gosh, no, you should never own one. And uh, any traffic of them is highly illegal. But the things are so freaking cute. So adorable. So if there was a way to do it without it being utterly hor utter utterly horrible, I would love to have one as a pet. I would never do it. I would never condone doing it. But. <laughs> now, a sugar sugar glider. Ooh. Go ahead. I googled it, and I hate it. <laughs> yeah. I, I will not have nightmares. Yay! Oh, uh, Slow Loris. They look kind of like a cross between a, a sugar glider and a sloth. In a way. They have super long arms and they look so cuddly, but no. No. They're not. Uh, the whole reason why they do this thing, where they hold their arms out, is because they actually have venom sacks in their elbows that they use to try to, as, as a defense mechanism. So they're actually trying to kill you. Because what you're doing is torturing them and hurting them. So they're not cute. But they are. It's sad. Hey, what about you guys? H how about you? Raz, we'll start with you. Uh, exotic pet, you would love to have, but you should never owe. I mean, like, I'm tempted to say I have to go with the big cats. Because, you know, like, it would just be badass to be like, this is my pet lion. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but like, you know, like, I, you know, like an owl would be awesome or like as, as Cap said, Fox, I'd be down for having just like a pet Fox cause they're just flipping adorable, but they are so that, destructive like, though. Oh my gosh. It, exactly. Exactly. Well, I mean, like, you know, in, in, like in a perfect world, yeah, that'd be great. But like, I hear that they're terrible. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to get one. That's a plushie. Yeah. <laughs> the plushie will not murder me. Yeah. There's, there's a, there is a, uh, twi uh, TikTok person i follow who has a uh, a finnick <laughs> box that and yeah oh my gosh they, they have no living room now because there are holes in everything uh, josh can you pause time now yes i can okay so we're not getting out of bed that's why i'm still stuck in here um but how about you uh nathan um Yeah, um, it's really not me so much because I never really wanted any like weird exotic exotic animals. But uh, Ricky wants a Savannah cat because they're they're like almost as big as a dog. Um, but they're also uh, domesticated, so I mean you can have them as pets. But they're burgers, and burgers plus chickens is not a good combo. No. So we shouldn't. <laughs> but it's a big, a big pretty kitty. <laughs> that makes sense. All right. Okay, so with that, we're going to go ahead and... We'll go ahead and actually end out this particular episode here, so bear with me a moment while I switch over to the Just Chatting view. And Oz says, I compromised for my exotic animal. I have a gigantic white tiger throw on my wall, but I have a rarish dog instead. I settled for that. Yeah, okay, see, that's fine. Um, as, long as, you know, as long as you're either not putting an animal that should never be domesticated into a situation that is, frankly, untenable for them, where they can't be properly treated and properly, you know, cared for and have the room that they need. It, that's perfectly fine. It's just, yeah. There are some animals that really should not be stuck in a house or domesticated at all. But yeah. All right. 
Well, with that, we're, we're going to go ahead and close out this particular episode. So if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. If you can help me out on the YouTube side, make sure that you like and comment on the video. I do try to respond to every comment that comes through. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click that notification bell. I uh, so you get notices when new videos come up on the channel. I do try to keep ch uh, new videos coming every Monday through Friday. And they're usually actually the VODs for this particular stream. So that's a great way to catch up if you're behind or if you want to watch some of my earlier work and watch how we've... Uh, grown and expanded as a channel uh, lastly again if you have a, a, the ability please make sure to follow the link down in the doobly-doo both on the youtube side and on the twitch side and consider donating to extra life again this goes towards one of my uh one of my one of, one of, the, one of the hospitals that's really important to me that is the dornbecker children's hospital here uh, ohsu chapter here in portland oregon that is uh, basically responsible for a lot of younger children's uh, care uh, specifically right now during the COVID pandemic, they are the primary award for children in Oregon, Washington, and Idaho. So anything that you could do to help out would be greatly appreciated. We've got some incentives. If you're watching on, live on the stream, uh, the EL command will get you more information about that and a link to the campaign itself. Please make sure anything you can offer, whether it's $1, $20, 100 whatever you can spare, would be greatly appreciated. But with that all said, we're going to go ahead and end out this particular episode. And until I see you next time, game on, lovelies.